guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Okay, so I'm doing a 16 by 20. I have scraped the drips from my table from the last pour I did. They look like that. Very pretty. Lots of color in there. So why not use the paint? So I've poured it on here and stretched it out as a base coat. And I'm going to use the rest of my leftover paint and do a ribbon and something pretty cool, I hope. So this is my 24 karat gold. This is Golden's Permanent Deep Violet. This one is Prussian Blue. This one is Satin Enamels White with some Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic in it. So, I have already layered my cup. This is right here with those colors. And we're going to do a pretty ribbon of sorts. Okay, so, here we go. I think I'm going to go this way because I want to get that backward... I'm going to put some more white on top of this. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do this. So we're going to go easy. Yeah. We're going to go this way. Okay, that's really pretty. Wow, that's beautiful. Let me turn this off. There you go. Can you see that? Yeah. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So pretty. Okay. Get back to the pour. Make sure you can see. Okay. So we're going to tilt this this way, obviously. But this is really cool. Just nice and slow. I'm kind of walking it down. Stretching it out just a little bit at a time. until we get to that corner and we're going to hook it over the corner. Just like that. Let it settle. And then we're going to go back down this way. Actually, nope, we want to go this way. And just let that stretch and spread. And that base coat we had on there, you see, is just sliding down and stretching out this top layer. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I'm going to turn this and go this way now. Wow, that's really cool. So <laughs> neat. Okay, let's go this way and just let it move down the canvas, nice and slow. It's just the weight of the paint moving down with gravity. I'm not in a hurry. Don't rush this part. Let it take its time. really pretty. Almost there. I 
I just want to grab that edge of the burgundy right there. Okay. Get that drip off. Let it settle just a little bit, and we're going to go back the other direction. Now, oh, this is so cool. Let's turn it this way. Oh, that's really neat. But yeah, we need to come down now. That's very cool. moving slow because it's pulling what's up there down and stretching that out and that's okay but I'm not really crazy about this gold thing so that's mostly what I want to get off which just take another minute and it's going but this is so pretty I love stretching it all out like this really fun how far can it go? <laughs> I'll just leave a tip of a little tiny bit of that up there. Okay. That's good. And let it go back to center just a little bit. And balance itself out. that that's pretty cool okay let me dry my hands off and then I will take you and put this up wow I love them and blue on the deep violet and the white on the gold. Oh, there's that little gold bit we were getting off. <laughs> Look how deep that blue is so pretty. And in here where they sort of blended a little bit and there's a little bit of gold in between them. Very cool. I really like that. That's neat. So um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just end this video here and then I will show you when it's dry another time because I want to do a series of kind of faster ones so I can give you guys more videos. <laughs> but I will show you when it's dry, I promise. But it's not gonna change, they stay like this unless maybe a bug lands in it or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me and going rogue. Um, HOA has taken our darling daughters to play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> so I got to paint, which is pretty cool. Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me. And I will see you for the next one. And I will show you this one dry in the next one. See you soon. Bye.